So in this lesson we're going to go through and we're going to make some custom decorations for the front of our building in Revit. So this is a restaurant project and one of the students wanted to do some custom design work, uh, some stars to put on the front of the building. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go up to File, we're going to hover over New and we're going to create a new family. Whenever the family comes up, the default family template folder comes up. I scroll down through here until I find one that says generic model wall based. So if I select that and open, basically this is a template to create a new family. So inside of here, I'm going to look at this in some different views. So this is my plan view and I can also look at this from my elevation views. So that's the back side. Here's the placement side. And I'm going to start out with this placement side and I'm just going to come up here on the create tab and start drawing. So I'm going to start out by saying I cannot draw stars very well but I'll give it a shot. So I'm just going to zoom in here and try to draw a half decent star. I'm just going to draw half of it. And then I'm going to select it and mirror it. And I'll bring these two together with fillet. And then I'm just going to make some little adjustments to this. I'll actually delete those and mirror this side again. So there I have a half decent looking little star and once I have it sketched out the next thing is on the create tab I can use extrusion. So I could have came in here to extrusion to begin with and basically started drawing my star but since I already drew this with the sketch tools now I'm going to come up here to this draw menu and I'm going to choose pick lines and I'm just going to go around and choose the lines and I could probably hover tab select them all and I think I selected two twice I, I selected these ones a couple times I'll just start that over and the first time that I select them, choose lines, I'm going to hover, hit tab, select them all, and then I can choose my depth. So for my depth I'm just going to make this and try three inches. Say OK and I'm going to click on this 3D view and there is my star and it's actually going into the wall. So I'm going to try making this minus three inches and I say apply and now it comes out from the wall. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the appearance of this. So whenever I click on this the material, material over here is by category I'm just going to come in here and change my material and I'm going to make a new material by clicking on this little button and say new, create new material and I'm going to right click on this and rename that, call it star and then over here 
I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to do anything with it here. And say apply, OK. And you can see whenever I change this to realistic, it's just basically gray. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save it as a family so that I can easily find it later. I'm just going to throw it in. Uh, in my documents, I'll make a folder called Revit Decorations, and I'll call this Star. Save it. Load into Project and close. Whenever I'm back in my project, Right now this little symbol comes up that shows me that I can't place the star anywhere. So what it's looking for is it wants a wall face. Because that was how I set it up whenever I created that using the, uh, the default template for a wall. So I'm going to click on the 3D view here. And I'm going to come out here to my front wall face. And I'm going to try dropping that and it looks like it's probably putting it within the wall. So somewhere within the wall the star got placed there so I'm going to try putting another one in on a different wall and see how it acts on that. So this time I'm going to put it over here and it works fine on this wall so before I worry about this one here, I'm just going to look at this one right here. And this time, whenever I look at the materials, I'm going to click on Manage at the top, Materials. And Star, now that I'm in the drawing that I'm actually going to apply it to, I'm going to use render appearance and then under appearance I'm going to change the color to yellow and say OK, apply, OK. And now the star is actually yellow in that view. So I could do this with all different kinds of decorations. I could literally make anything that I wanted and apply it to the outside of the building. So I could, I could go back in and create text. So if I wanted to have signage here, naming that shows the name of the restaurant, I could do that in there and then extrude it and have that stick out. I could try extruding it back in so it would actually take away from that. So this is just one more way to add some aesthetic appeal to the front of your building other than your reveals and sweeps that we talked about earlier. So after more closer or closer inspection to this, it looks like what was going on is the stars that I was clicking on this wall were being placed on the interior walls. So I can basically click on that put some stars out here. So that one right there, it grabbed an interior wall back there. So you just kind of have to play around with it to, to get it to actually go on the walls that you want it to. So once you have one on that wall, you can also copy it, move it around, and it'll be in the same plane on the same face that you assigned it to.